Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to look at the uh, Slinger launch again. It was very popular. Uh, I've changed the propeller, propeller but now it's balanced. Now it has two blades. Yeah. Stabilize the whole thing enormously. And uh, I want to um, show you how accurate it is. We want to test the accuracy of this thing because I believe that it's underestimated. So we have a target my catch box and the catch box has a piece of wood in front of it now so that we can see the impact of the 25 millimeter steel balls and we're simply going to shoot a few of them against the wooden board so let's go that was the first shot now the next one and the next one the same hole. Incredible. One more. One more. Let me refill the ammo. <laughs> this is so much fun guys. I could do that the whole day long. What happened? The spiral actually broke. See, it's cheap wood that I used for it. And I'm actually surprised that it lasted that long. But as you can see, the ball left here and probably hit the door behind me somehow. Well, I think I have to repair it now. But let's look at the target and see how precise the shots have been so far. Here we have a total of one, two, three, four, five hits. And as you see, they're all in a like a, in the uh, the size of a uh, zombie's torso, and that's from a distance of 10 meters. I think that's pretty good for just a you know simple hacked together wooden launcher. I think that concept has a lot of play, and we definitely need to investigate it further. I want to show you a new slingshot that I've made. I call it a semi starship because it's illegal in Germany since it doesn't have an arm brace, but it has a hand brace. This means that it cannot turn accidentally in your hand because it's resting against the back of your hand. Also, it protects the hand from any accidentally flying uh, ball. Um, plus, it also gives you perfect hand slap protection. This means that with this slingshot, I can shoot very small bands with very, very, uh, very small balls with very strong bands. So it's an ideal record shooting slingshot for smaller calibers. I really like this new design and I think I've got to work a little bit more on it. One more shot. Also this slingshot it's been, it has been made without any glue. This means all the parts are just mounted on it with screws. So if you want to make a, a longer draw extension or even an arm brace, all you have to do is take a longer piece of wood, just a wooden board, and attach the rest and the handle and the fork to it, and you have a full Starship. So it's actually also like a kit for a Starship. I also want to show you a slingshot that has been given to me by Antrax, a friend on my forum, a German guy, and uh, he made this slingshot for me and I'm absolutely blown away with it. I mean, look at the quality of the woodworking. I have no idea how he does this. I couldn't make a, sl a slingshot like this. It's a beauty and a very, very proud item for my collection. This year YouTube has invited me to uh, be a special guest at the Video Day 2013. It's the biggest German event. And also, they gave me a few tickets as giveaways for my fans. So I'll switch to German now, as people from outside of Germany are probably not interested in coming. Jetzt mal für meine deutschen Fans. Ich habe hier Karten, sechs Stück, für den Video Day 2013. Der findet zeitgleich mit der Gamescon statt in Köln. Ist ein tolles Event, alle deutschen Stars werden da sein. Ich werde am Samstag ähm, auch ähm, ein Event machen, 
ähm, so ein sogenanntes Hangout on Air. Dazu werde ich noch ein bisschen was in meinem Blog posten. Aber wenn ihr die gewinnen wollt, dann hinterlasst einen Kommentar zu diesem Video. Damit seid ihr dann dabei. Der Gewinner wird in ein paar Tagen bekannt gegeben. <lacht> well anyway, I hope you like this, because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye.